Hi, Dave from Solarbotics again. KCX-017 USB power monitor. What I like about these sorts of things is it gives you an idea about what's going on with your electronics. I started off with investing in Kickstarter on this little USB power meter, but as you can see, it gives you multi-colored uh, multi LED outputs, but it really doesn't give me any sort of idea on what sort of current it's being uh, consumed. What do two blue power bars mean? I don't know. Well, okay, so enough of that one. Next one I found was a nice little piece uh, on a trip to China. Again, hmm. Nice little display. Plug something in. 4.93. Oh, there we go. 120 milliamps. But I'm not crazy about the display flipping back and forth. Besides being distracting, it just doesn't strike me as a very, very solidly engineered solution. Then I came across the KCX-017. What I like about this, plug it in. You get a simultaneous display of voltage and current, as well as a cumulative uh, power consumption, as well as up to 10 memories for, for tracking that. I haven't used that feature at all. I don't think it's actually that valuable, but it has been uh, very nice for the other feature set. Additionally to that, it's got a USB input, micro USB input on the side, which is particularly useful for when you have an external USB power supply that you want to test. In this case, I've got a five and a half volt Raspberry Pi power supply that we carry for specifically this Raspberry Pis. I can plug it in and I can see, okay, it runs a little hot at 5.66 volts under no load. Let's try attaching a Raspberry Pi to it. This is the new Pi 3. Drops down to 5.61, drawing 130, 130 milliamps, oh, up to 300, 230, sagging down a little bit down to 5.56 volts. Very nice and quick update. I really like that feature, being able to plug in the external power. KCX 017's come up with a really solid device. Really like it a lot. Uh, does not work with the USB 3 yet. So I'm waiting for that version as well, but until then you'll find a lot of use for the USB 2 version.